coronavirus is the hardest hit towards small businesses. Staples of the Long Beach area have fallen by the wayside. Places that thrived before are forced to close permanently. The question is what survived and how? An establishment as unthreatening as this Johnny Rockets on Pine in the heart of downtown has not only survived but thrived for more than 28 years, longer than any other business in the area. My name is uh, Behjat Benam, but in here they call me Becky. Oh, interesting uh, how, how it has been changed. Oh, I see a lot of, you know, uh, places come and go uh, because I realized, you know, even before coronavirus, I found it, you know, it, it was a little bit challenging for, for businesses around here. There is a lot of competition and then uh, it's, it's, uh, there is not a lot of support for, you know, small businesses. Uh, I don't think there is anywhere, you know, I'm not complaining about that. It's just, you know, the reality of it that, you know, uh, when you have a small business, you're, you're on your own 24-7. You know, you always think, okay, I'm going to open a business and being, you know, not work as much, but you work 24-7. You know, when COVID started, um, uh, I didn't take it as serious uh, at the beginning, but when, you know, we heard the news that we have to close down. No, we didn't close down. But we had to, you know, uh, limit our service. I said, uh, uh, we talked about it and we said, okay, you know, we have some savings. Uh, we're going to bring our savings in and then uh, we are not going to fire anybody. We're just going to keep on, you know, continuing until, you know, see what's going to happen. So uh, that's, that's how we kind of prepared ourselves. I didn't expect it to, to last, you know, that long. I thought, okay, it was going to be maybe a few months, maybe six months, and not more than that. But, but it's, you know, yes, yeah, how did we do that? Uh, it's just by, you know, uh, perseverance. We didn't give up. I, I am a type of person I never give up. When I start something, I have to finish it. And, and that was another chapter that, you know, I said, okay, you know, we're going to continue. And uh, uh, it was tough. Uh, it was tough to balance the books. It's still difficult to balance the books. Uh, but we did it. We, we made it. I am so, you know, proud of it. And we, make it, we made it happen. Uh, mi nombre es Juan, uh, en México. Eh, fue un poquito du difícil y duro. Uh, sí estudié, sí, pero no, no terminé, la, solo fui hasta el 6 grado. Oh, okay. yeah. eh, pues quería yo ser alguien en la vida, pero la situación es muy difícil allá. Eh, yo venía aquí por un año para seguir estudiando, pero ya después este, encontré el trabajo y empecé a ganar el dinero y ya no regresé para allá. Cuando empecé sí fue un poquito difícil por el idioma. Ah, pues querías también hacer algo, tener un trabajo para poder hacer lo que yo quería hacer. La ciudad de Long Beach es algo, este, es algo muy bonito. La ciudad de Long Beach ah, ha cambiado mucho porque no era así antes también. Ahora es diferente. Ah, cosas interesantes. Pues más que nada todo cada año son los el Grand Prix, son los más bonitos que, que yo he experimentado en Long Beach. Uh, de la, acerca del COVID, pues yo estaba en, en otro país, pues yo nunca me imaginé que eso iba a llegar hasta este país también. Pues sí, este, ha causado temor e inclusive yo pensé que este también lo iban a cerrar. Ha sido muy difícil la situación y pues la, la gente que tenía su negocio también, pues eh, hay unos que quedaron en la calle porque era su, era donde ellos uh, mantenían a su familia y aún mantenían a, a otra gente para poder mantener a otras familias, pero sí ha sido muy, muy difícil y duro. Aquí ahorita está uno aquí a, al lado, otro que está aquí y otro más adelante. Son como cuatro o cinco que he visto que cerraron. Sí, también causa una tristeza porque ahorita ya la, la calle está muy sola. Pues ahorita en el futuro es pues un poquito difícil mientras que se acabe todo esto, 
eh, el futuro va a ser un poco mejor conforme se vaya acabando esto y volver a la normalidad todo. Antes del COVID, pues, había más trabajo y, la, y las cosas no estaban tan, no están tan caras como ahorita. Ahorita ya uno si quiere comer con, una, con la familia, ir a un restaurante, antes gastaba uno menos, ahora es lo doble o lo triple, y eso es lo triste. De porque los dueños, pues ellos, han, ellos siguen pensando positivo de que el negocio nuevamente va a regresar a la normalidad conforme a cómo vaya pasando el tiempo, y esa es la razón la que ellos no han cerrado, porque tienen la mentalidad positiva de que este negocio va a seguir adelante. Uh, the last time I was here was, I can't even remember, <laughs> to be honest. But I remember, though, uh, I did bring one of my dates here, and it was for, uh, it was a high school date. And this was, a, was a, over 20 plus years ago. Oh, geez. Uh, <laughs> Long Beach, downtown Long Beach has changed so much. Uh, it used to be so run down. It's, it was ghetto. There was like a lot of homelessness here. Surprisingly, the homelessness came back, but not in this area in particular. So to see this place still here, uh, along with these other, I guess, upscale restaurants, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing to, to watch. Oh yeah, I mean, there are so many restaurants that technically is better than Johnny Rockets, but I'm surprised it's like it's holding its own. It's like, I mean, I, I've seen a, a movie theater that was here, you would think would stay here forever, but it ends up being like a little burger joint that stays here instead.